So you've decided you're going to use the fixed asset register to track your assets in Zero. Let's go and look at how you register a fixed asset. Okay, I'm in Zero, and as you can see, I am entering a purchase invoice. It's from Vodafone. It's dated the 1st of January and it's for a new mobile phone. I will continue completing this, it's £500. I'm going to choose the code computer equipment, 20% VAT on expense and approve. Okay, so all that I've done there is I've entered a purchase invoice or a bill if you like, and I've coded it to a fixed asset code. Now let's go to the fixed assets and see what happens. And we've got our different tabs here. We've got one asset registered already. And what we can see is we've now got one in drafts where super duper new mobile is now in zero as a draft asset. And that's simply because we coded a purchase invoice to an asset, fixed asset code. So what we need to do, we need to select it, click on the green, it's zero has given it a new fixed asset number, fixed asset number two. I'm happy to accept that fixed asset number. So then we just fill in some details. So we've got the name, that's fine. The asset number, purchase date is already fed through and so has the price. You can fill in warranty information, warranty expiry date, and you can fill in a serial number. You can click and go to the original bill. And that takes us back to the purchase invoice that we just have entered. If you want to look at the purchase invoice, if it, the backup is there, you can click on the icon here. So I'm going to hit the back key and I'm back in the screen to register. So super duper new mo mobile, fixed asset number two, I'm fine with. Don't need to enter warranty or serial number actually. I can, let me just put a serial number. And then it asks, a drop down, what is your asset type? Now you'll remember we set up asset types and settings. So when we click on the drop down, the options are here. If the option you needed wasn't here, you can create a new asset type here. But we're going to select computers. We don't need these two tracking fields. And then there's a description. So you could put a full description of your asset if that's required in this description box here. Okay, we were asked a question, when do you want to start the depreciation? Well, we're going to choose the date that the asset was purchased. So we're going to head all the way back to the 1st of January and select that. Now we've got a depreciation method, average method and the rate of effective life. And you'll see that these have already been filled in for us. And that's because we chose an asset type of computers. We've already set up computers. We've said it will be straight line full month and three years effective life. As always, Zero creates defaults for you, but you can amend them if you need to. There's two further options here if we click on this. If we want to limit the cost for depreciation or if there's a residual value at the end of our depreciation, we would fill these in. Normally, we just leave those blank. They're not required. Happy with everything that's entered on the screen, straight to the green and register. Now you can see on the register tab, we have two assets. We have a laptop that was there already and we now have our mobile. Okay, here's another example of a purchase invoice coded to fixed assets. This time we've purchased a desk and it's been coded to office equipment. We just select approve and then let's go to fixed assets. As before, it appears on the draft screen. Select it, fill in the details, select office, description if you need it, depreciation start date, the date of purchase, straight line, full month. And because it's office equipment, we're happy, effective life of four years for our new desk. And then we just go to register. So now we're on the register tab and we can see that we now have three fixed assets registered in zero. So that is how you register your fixed assets. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded 
each week. Until next time, happy zeroing. <laughs>